guys, Joshua here from Gander Flight. It's springtime, and that means the grass is growing. It also means that if you didn't do your lawnmower maintenance in the fall, then now is the second best time to do it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna let the engine get a little bit warm. We're gonna turn it on and run it for about a minute and a half, two minutes. So now that we've got the engine warmed up, we're going to be doing our seasonal maintenance. We're going to be sharpening the blade, changing the engine oil, and cleaning out the air filter. You may or may not need to change your spark plug based on how old it is and if you're having any problems. So to get started, safety first. First thing we want to do is unplug the spark plug so that we're, when we're messing with the dry shaft and the blade, there's no way this thing can start on us. Mine's quite simple. It's, it's protruding, so I just pop that off. If yours is recessed, grab a screwdriver and then pop that uh, spark plug wire off of the spark plug. So then what we're going to want to do is grab some gloves. The first thing I like to do after it's warm is get that engine, the old engine oil out. Now a lot of these smaller engines have a drain plug down here underneath that you can take the plug out and drain the oil from below. Lawnmowers are notorious for rusting down here and getting coated with grass clippers and stuff and they get super hard to get out so what I do anymore is I don't even mess with that drain plug grab yourself a drain pan and uh, just take your dipstick out clean it off and then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna tip the lawnmower over and drain the oil out the top so much faster so much simpler while it's true you're not going to get every last drop like you will with that drain plug, the time that you're going to mess with a rusted drain plug versus this is not worth it for the, the infinitesimal amount is going to be left in the drain pan. If you're into DIY projects, go ahead and check out our free group, DIYers, Tinkers, Fixers, and Makers. I'll put a link in the description for that. So then after all that oil is drained out, we're going to tip it back over. Take our used oil and recycle it properly. Then you're going to grab your oil and a funnel and we're going to fill that back up. If your lawnmower has any stickers on it telling you what weight oil to use, definitely use that. If it doesn't, straight 30 weight small engine oil from, this is from uh, the hardware store, is going to be your best option. Uh, and approximately 16 ounces, but every mower will vary based on engine size, so make sure you check your owner's manual. And then when you're about there, go ahead and double check. Put your dipstick back in clean. Pull it back out. And see that you're full. Now the first time you run the mower after you've done an oil change, you're gonna wanna check that oil again. And you really need to check it every time you run it to make sure that you're not running it dry, you don't have any problems. However, I know that most people don't. So definitely after you do an oil change, Make sure you check it, and then every once in a while, do your best to, every time you fill it up with gas, check that oil, like you should be. Okay, so now we got the, the mower flipped around, because what you want to do is when you tip this mower over, you never want to tip it towards the air filter. Always tip it away from the air filter. Um, we're going to tip this over again. You know, it's a good idea to have a piece of cardboard or something underneath there in case you leak any fluids, oil, fuel. Um, and what we're going to do is loosen this blade, take it off, and get it sharpened. So sometimes these are overly tight, and you need to grab a cheater bar on the end of your wrench to get some mechanical advantage and leverage to get that off. Thankfully, I'm the one who put mine on last, and it's not overly tight. Take the blade off, stick your bolt back in so they no, no issues with misplacing it. And then we're going to get this sharpened up. Alright, so there's several different ways to sharpen your blade. First being a regular hand file. Clamp it down, file it down. Totally doable, and if you don't have any other tools, 
definitely suggest it rather than cutting with a dull blade. However, my preferred method is using an angle grinder with a flat disc. You can also use a Dremel with a sanding drum on it. Um, or take this over to a bench grinder. There's lots of different ways to sharpen that up. Uh, there's also certain specialty tools like a, a work sharp that would help you out there. But I'm just going to clamp this onto this sawhorse here. You could use a picnic table, you could use an old chair, uh, something just to hold the blade. And then we're just going to sharpen that, trying to keep the same angle that the blade had from the factory. Now it's super important that you take the same amount of material off of both sides, basically saying your blade needs to be balanced. So you can get a specialty tool like this guy off of Amazon for a few bucks and you basically set it in the middle and you can see which way, whichever side is lower is the side that is heavier and if it's unbalanced, as it's spinning around on the bottom of your mower, it's going to start wobbling, shaking and it's super unsafe. So, Grab one of these, or go ahead and stick a nail into a board on a vertical surface and hang your mower blade from there. If one side is heavier than the other, it's gonna tip and it'll let you know which way it needs to go. So now that we've got the blade sharpened and balanced, we wanna put it back in. Definitely pay attention to the um, punches the words on your blade because it will say grass side, top side, and it'll let you know which way it needs to be reinstalled. Now it's also time to grab a putty knife and scrape out any of the old cake down grass clippings. All right, so now that we got the blade sharpened and the oil changed, last thing we need to address is the air filter. So they're all gonna be attached in various ways uh, with different bolts or screws sometimes even just a clip. However yours is attached, take it off, pull the air filter off. Take a look at it and see exactly how dirty it is and how bad it is. These can be had online for super cheap. So if yours looks like mine, you need to replace it. If it doesn't look quite so bad, you really still should clean it out. Uh, the best way to do that would be with some compressed air. If you don't have compressed air, the thing I like to do is grab a shop vac. Let's see if we can see this here. You grab your shop vac and pull the hose out of the front, stick it in the exhaust, and now it becomes a blower. And now you can take that shop vac, turn it on, and blow most of the stuff out of this filter. <laughs> So as you can see, mine needs to be replaced, so we're going to replace that. Again, these can be had super cheap online. Just type in the make and model of your mower and type air filter in, and you be, should be good to go. And then we're just going to reinstall that. However, reverse if it came out. So the very last thing we want to do is make sure we plug that spark plug back in and then top it up with fresh steel. So maintenance on these small engines is super important. Keeping that air filter clean, keeping the blade sharp, and having fresh oil is definitely something you need to be doing every year. Ideally in the fall, but you know what? It's springtime, if you haven't done it, now's the next best time. So, go out, get your lawnmower tuned up, ready to go, keep that lawn looking nice. I'm Joshua, you've been watching Gander Flight. If you've enjoyed this, go ahead and click a thumbs up and uh, leave me a comment. What did I miss? What else do you do to your mower to get it ready for the upcoming grass growing season? We'll see you on the next one. Take care and pay it forward. Later guys.